Hey, hello guys, welcome back. My name is Agar Pichopati and in this video, I am going to cover how we can write a data or data frame into a DBFS or into a Databricks table or Hive tables we can say. Okay, so let's get started and if you haven't watched my previous videos, I would suggest to check out uh, this course okay and uh, i was where i yesterday i completed different type of views and today i'm going to cover this right data into tables and then i will be covering external versus managed table and post that what i will be doing i will be covering uh, unity catalog from tomorrow uh, right and then i will be covering this uh, deployment process also or delta live table and at the last i will be covering this topic spark optimization tricks okay let's get uh, let's go over here again so this is the data frame what we have uh, created in the previous videos also so i just copied the code okay let me run it and what i'll do i'll just show you the data so how we can show the data we can show the data using df.show command very good now what i will do i will now see this is the data frame right now this is in the memory so if i stop this cluster or if i restart this cluster cluster is nothing a kind of vm you can assume or a machine right so if i restart this machine i cannot uh, uh, access this again i have to load into a memory and then i can only show you to you right so in order to save into some uh, some solid location persistent location i need i i need to write some commands okay also you know i now i suppose you have uh, read the data from a csv file and you have done some manipulations using filter group by uh, with column and so, so so now you want to give this data to someone else maybe to power bi user maybe to sql developers or maybe uh, in the X, in the file of excel in the form of excel or csv then you have to first save it in somewhere right so that's why we are doing this exercise okay so this is a very simple command so uh, what we can do we have, we can use data frame and we can use write api so this is dot write okay and uh, here you have to define the format correct so format is let's say i am keeping here csv only you can keep parquet avro json whatever it is right and currently in the market delta format is being used many places so i will be covering in that that topic in later video so don't do not need to worry so you can see you know when i have read this file so i have used some options so if you want you can also choose this option otherwise you can ignore it okay so for now i can use one option called separator okay so i want to i want to save this data with the separator let's say uh, a pipe okay with the pipe so by default comma is the separator correct now what i'll do i'll just write here load uh sorry I can use save so you can see we have like two methods over here save and save as table so I can choose any one of it so save as table means when I want to save the data into a table and save means when I want to save the data into a file uh, system I can say right or to some locations so this is save as table so you can see the function itself saves you that table right now you know if you're coming from sql background that table is being you saved in the database right so first i have to create one database so i can create one database called uh, how how we can create a database like create database db database right simple do not need to worry about it now what i'll do i'll just uh, use this and pass here db dot uh, raw underscore data underscore output i can use this and i can run this command very good now this is being done and where you can see this data so we are using community addition so you can go to catalog and now you can see this is the db database and here you have the file uh, you have the uh, data very good now okay now if i run this command again then what will happen it will fail right so it failed already now there is actually a function called mode or we can say there is another option called mo mode okay so we have different type of mode means when you want what you want to do when you are saving the data into a table you whether you want to override the existing table whether you want to append the data whether you want to ignore or whether you want to get the error or raise the error okay now override means you can understand 
reload the whole data or uh, you know truncate and load the new data you can say right so we can write here overwrite uh, correct now if i run this command it should not fail like this now you will see that it ran successfully and now what i will do if you want to explore it explore the data so you can write here seek simple sql command sql command right so now you will see that hey we have only four rows over here now again if i if i run this uh, you know thing then you will see we will we will still have the uh, we will still have the four data i mean four data the same rows but actually what it did is that it loaded the new uh, it created a new table or new copy of a table right so every time it is uh, deleting the rows and again inserting the new rows okay now there is a option called append so append means the name suggests append means add karo so we can i mean when we do this so now if i run this now you will see that the data will get appended means duplicate now now come we are not removing any data existing data we are appending the data on top of the existing data <sighs> correct now there is another mode there is another mode called uh, uh, ignore so ignore means if the file is already present if the table is already present it will not actually fail and it will not do any action it will not do any action okay it will not rewrite the data again it will not do anything so you can see still we have a four rows i am sorry we have a eight rows now error is the by default uh, by default mode which is present in the uh, right api now you can see we got an error saying that the table is already present very good very good very good okay now uh, mode is completed mode is, mode is completed so the same thing will be applied to the same uh, another function called same uh, save okay so save means as i said that save is being used when we have to save the data into a location let's say into a file location so you can see i can provide here some location so right now i am using this file store slash tables slash output slash raw underscore data so if i run this uh, this is already present because i have done it uh, okay so i can use here mode okay i should use here mode overwrite right instead of that and if i run this now it will save the data into this location now if you want to access this location you can access with the help of dbutils.fs.ls this is nothing but a db database utilities file system list command so i have made a, another uh, module for the same so you can see database utilities database utility file system command database widgets com commands and database notebook command so you can refer this right now if i do this now here you will see that hey we will get some uh, rows i mean uh, some files so you can see you can see over here that we we gotten some multiple files right and here you can see this this file is start with part okay so part means this is the partition files okay part files or data files so this file holding a data and you can see the format is also .csv other uh, 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 other files are some uh, some system generated files okay which tells us you know whether the job is completed or not so i will discuss this in detail when this underscore success underscore committed file is uh, uh, you know is get created so you can do not need to panic about it right so this is this is done right very good very good very good very good now there is another scenario which i want to discuss and also before going to that if you want to play with this uh, table right so you can play with this table with the help of sql command so you can write any sql command like this now i just telling you describe so if you want to describe the table so it will give you the uh, the, the structure of the uh, the the structure of the table and if you want to know more about this table so you can use extended keyword right and now you will see that you will get all the information let's say what is the catalog database name table who is the owner created time last access created by and x y z things now you will you will see there is this this thing you can see type is equal to manage so moving forward i will be telling you that what is the what is the difference between external and managed tables so you can just uh, hold on it right no, no need to panic 
very good now i am saying that sometime what happens that uh, you can see you can assume this data only so you can see we have uh, this data and maybe you have we have a hope we have over here department right so what i will do first i will let me create a data for you okay so that it will be easier for us to explain this part and this is very important thing so i'm just taking here three uh, attributes okay id id name and department and let's copy copy co not come here copy 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 and copy very good so uh, here i can make it here signs right copy it paste it here paste it here and one thing i will give math okay and just change the name to kim and let's say one saga only math here one saga uh, to kim to kim and maybe three john or let it be right and schema what is the schema over here id as a integer name as a string and uh, department as a as a name oh uh, sorry <laughs> a string right so now we, uh, what i'll do i'll do just do a physical to spark dot create data frame data data comma schema right and now this data being created now what i am saying hey we have this data and you can assume that uh, you know we have a uh, millions of rows millions of rows right millions of, of rows of this data now if we save the data into a one table then what or maybe one location then what will happen every time when we do some filter it will do a lot of operation so i'm just telling you now you can just listen it and moving forward i will explain in detail don't not need to worry i do not want to put everything in a one video okay so the basic thing what i want to do now i want to segregate this data based on department and i want to make a directory in the location okay so what i'll do i will uh, you know copy this the same thing and put it over here and instead of all the csv i am using parquet and you can use anything overwrite okay and uh, do, 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 theek hai. now what i'll do i will i will use here one method called partition by so what partition by does is that it will actually create a create a directory in the file location okay in the file location try to understand in the file location so you can have to you have to just pass the column name over here so if i run this now then you will Ah, now you will see that if I do here dbutils.fs.ls, my bad. You will see that hey, we have now department is equal to IT, department is math, and department is equal to science, right? Now, on what basis we have to choose the partition column? so based on the column which has the less duplicates in simple term which has the less duplicate now you can understand like why didn't i choose the id column over here because if i choose here id column then there will be a lot of uh, uh, directory will be created in this uh, uh, in this location which is also not good right so now what i will do i will just query this location and i will only receive the i will only receive the uh, uh you know it related data like likewise i can only query this i will receive the math data and so 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 on right now uh, how how you can query it you can simply do a query dude do not need to worry about it just write a simple sql if you want to and if you want to make a data frame you can also make a data frame so you might be thinking hey how easy it is no it is not like this you have to write here the file format so let's say file format is this you have to use this uh, sign right the symbol you have to use this is styled or whatever we call it and now you have to run the hit button now you, you will see you will only see here id and name because you are specifying the date i mean the partition column so if you remove this and if you try to hit the button now now you will see the id name and the department column also in your data right so 
uh yep so this is how and i wanted to tell you that you can all you can also use multiple columns over here so for the sake of the code i i am using id but in, you can usually you, you should not use id column which has a primary key you should not use never you, you should never use in the partition by uh, function so again i will you know run it and if i show you if i show you here then you will see hey now we have Huh. Uh, uh, I it should it should show you like this. <coughs> hmm. Now you will see under this department is is equal to it. I am having id is equal to one, id is equal to two, and so because for it department we have only two ids one one two and here we have one one right so that's why it's segregated into a, a different directories based on the id values right so likewise you can use multiple columns and this is also being used that you know basically i i will tell you the real time ap application when you have to use maybe you have to use when you are loading the data ingesting the data on a monthly basis or daily basis right so you will use this partition by so you want to segregate the data based on the date wise you have to keep the data so that moving forward when you will uh, give the data to some other person you will give that folder name i mean just forget about this you know if you try to understand now you will you will you will be messed up right i mean you will you will uh, you will be confused so it's better try to learn focus and when i am going to cover this topic right uh where it is this cache persist partition by bucket see i have mentioned this topic because i want you guys to first focus on basic and because see once the basics are clear then then you can easily understand all these uh, advanced things easily but if you try to learn everything in a one shot then maybe you'll you will get confused uh right and maybe you will you will lose interest in that okay so i have covered almost all the stuff of this right uh, thing and moving forward i will be telling you about the managed versus the external tables and then moving forward i will be telling you some other stuff and then we will be starting the unity catalog module chalo thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture good night